Hi, I'm Bob Fowler, and this is my wife, Marty. We appreciate you taking time from your prep period, or time between rehearsals, to take a look at this preview DVD. Practical Technical Theater is a series of 10 instructional programs that address different areas of theater. Each program consists of two discs, a DVD and a CD-ROM. First, there's a DVD that's shown in short sections to your classes or to your after-school crews. Our motto has always been, if we say it, we show it. All programs are closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Next, a CD-ROM of support materials for each program is included. All the support materials are aligned to the national standards for arts education. Each CD-ROM has lesson designs with objectives aligned to blooms, times of lessons, materials needed, alternative learning strategies to address different learning styles, and assessments. The CD-ROM also includes resource sheets, projects, written assessments, scoring guides, performance rubrics for projects, and writing prompts. The single school site license allows your school use of these materials with the purchase of each program. The CD-ROM format allows the support materials to be run off as paper handouts that your students can put into folders making their own textbooks or be used with smart boards, laptops, and other digital technology. In essence, each program is a video textbook with a site license to use the materials forever. The support materials on the CD-ROM are so complete, you can go to a conference or a festival and still feel confident your students are learning. Also, students who have been absent can catch up by using a laptop and the resource sheets. The materials also work very well for class within a class situations. And since the digital format can be used with smart boards and laptops, most schools consider this technology, and lots of schools use technology and library funds to purchase the programs. Some schools also use safety and careers funds. If you can purchase the programs out of budgets other than theater, that's a very good thing. In addition, teachers have access to a website address where we post new materials as we create them. This is a way to keep materials fresh and up to date. As of the date of this demo, we have two new programs. Program 9, Careers in Theater, is not just a series of talking heads. This program provides lots of video footage and stills showing professionals working in their specialized area of performance, technical, and theater administration. Different types of producing organizations are compared, regional, New York, Turing, commercial, and not-for-profit. A second disc contains interviews with nine working professionals to help your students discover what a typical day at work is like, what are the most satisfying and challenging aspects of their profession, what kind of training their areas require, what their day-to-day -day lives are like, and which jobs demand irregular hours and travel. How to get into different unions and what the different unions have to offer is explored, as are careers in educational theater. This program takes between four to 10 days, depending on your time constraints. This is also a great program to use in survey and acting classes, since the program is broken down into performance, technical, and administrative sections. Program 10, Costuming for Theater is written and hosted by EDTA Hall of Fame inductee Terry McGonigal. It's a two-week unit that will help your students discover the elements and concepts of costume design, including script and character analysis, research, the functions of costumes, basic and advanced elements of design, and costume charts and plots. Developing a costume concept includes items a costumer must address, the collaborative process of working with other theater professionals, and the importance of having a solid production concept. Figure drawing, 
even for people who are convinced they cannot draw, costume drawing, including how to recognize the lines and silhouettes typical of different historical periods, and how to represent fabric in illustrated form are all demonstrated. And the program concludes with how to adapt modern clothing into period clothing and a backstage tour of a professional costume shop. Now, let's take a look at the original eight PTT programs. Program one, Introduction to Technical Theater, takes your students on a field trip to working for Senium, Arena, and Thrust Stages. And takes them on a backstage tour of a professional theater. We all know that even though the audience only sees the actors on stage, it's just as important to have talented technicians working behind the scenes. Theater hierarchy is illustrated by showing students performing their crew assignments and through interviews with working professionals. When we talk about stage managers, vocal coaches, board operators, electricians, and the many other members of the production team, we also show them doing their jobs. A section on the parts of the stage illustrates visually why stage right and stage left are reversed from the audience's point of view. This program is great for any theater class. Program two is basic set construction and theater safety. This program starts out discussing basic theater and tool safety. Once you're squared away with safety, it's time to start building sets. We look at common materials used in set construction and then take you step-by-step step through the construction of platforms, stair units, wagons, and flats. Common joining techniques are demonstrated before the section on safely striking the set. Again, we constantly stress the safety aspects of working in a theater and working with tools, like this reminder to wear safety glasses. Program 3, Lighting for the Theater, first illustrates some of the reasons for using stage lighting and how we can control the different qualities of light. Next, your students compare and contrast the different types of lighting instruments, their uses, and how to focus, do cuts, use gobos, and bench focus. We differentiate the aspects of a basic light plot, the hanging plot, the instrument schedule, the patching schedule, and cue sheets. Then we walk the students through the process of hanging and focusing, patching, and cueing. Just like set construction, safety is stressed throughout this program. Program 4, Audio for Theater, is hosted by David Eisenhower, who started his pro audio career running sound for his high school theater productions. This program begins with a look at a day in David's life as a concert engineer touring the world with top name acts. The program differentiates the parts and functions of a sound system, microphone patterns, and how different mics are used for different jobs. An extensive section on wireless mics, setting up your system for each show, and a great section on troubleshooting your system that many teachers think alone is worth the price of the program. It doesn't matter if you have a state-of-the-art sound system or a very basic system. This program prepares your students to evaluate your equipment and decide how to get the most from it. Program five, Stage Management, demonstrates all the aspects of being a top flight stage manager. This program is hosted by Tom Martin, who has stage managed at the professional level for nearly 30 years. Tom discusses tricks of the trade that only experience can teach. Your students will analyze how to run productive meetings and rehearsals. How to work with the director, actors, and crews by keeping open, clear lines of communication. How to effectively do the multitude of other jobs that fall to the stage manager, like taping the rehearsal space, putting together prompt books and calling scripts, and even how to handle conflict when it arises. Tom also illustrates in depth his system of script notation and how to call a show effectively. 
This stage management program is a must for the aspiring stage managers in your program. Program 6 analyzes set design and how to transform words in the script into a set on the stage. We differentiate between common types of interior and exterior set designs, box sets, unit sets, and multiple scene sets. We then probe script analysis to determine the technical demands, style, and production concept and how essential it is to work with the director and other designers to achieve a specific production concept. After investigating areas like sight lines, furniture placement, traffic patterns, and visual composition, we dissect the plans for an actual set and evaluate how all the pieces of the set work together using very basic scale drawings. Finally, the students finish up with a project in which they execute a set of drawings and scale model of a play. Written assessments and a grading rubric for the final project are included. Program 7, Lighting Design, is an extension of the Lighting for Theater program and should be used in conjunction with that program. It addresses basic concepts of lighting design and walks students through the process of designing lights for a production. The program then investigates the process of script analysis and the collaborative process that goes on with the director and other designers. A section on color theory is next, followed by a thorough exploration of angles of light and other design considerations. The next section of the program analyzes the hanging plot, instrument schedule, and patching schedule of two very different shows, with footage of the light cues from those shows and how to cue a show on both computerized and manual lighting controllers. A ground plan of an interior set, cue sheets, blank hanging plots, and all other necessary materials are included in the support materials. And the final project is to execute a complete light plot for a show with many special effects. Program 8, Business and House Management, will help you and your students organize your marketing efforts, assemble a winning house management team, and keep your show on budget. Even before the curtain goes up on opening night, your audience's first impressions of your production are your advertising, tickets, programs, and house crew. Business and house management steps off the stage into the business office, lobby, and box office to investigate the efforts that are necessary for successful performances, like choosing shows that will get not only your school, but your entire community involved. This program details working with tickets, programs, publicity, and helps your students to discover different ways to fund your shows and continue to build your theater program. Business and house management also demonstrates how to make your theater space, no matter how big or small, a welcome and safe environment to help keep your audiences coming back. We'd now like to invite you to scroll through the menu and sample part of each PTT title for yourself. Again, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to preview our programs.